All right, folks, God bless you guys. Welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. Okay, guys, listen. The video that I did yesterday, I was trying to show you and convince you and say, guys, do you understand that the Lord himself has delivered so many confirmations to me that I can no longer ignore them. And when I say ignore, I just mean, I don't mean I ignore his confirmations. What I mean is, the same as he got me to go to Chinati, he showed me confirmation after confirmation, but finally he walked me into an art gallery with all of, every painting was of Chinati, where Chinati is. Not Chinati proper, but Big Ben. Chinati is in Big Ben. Every painting in the art gallery was about Big Ben. That's what it was all about. So if you were praying to the Lord himself and you said, look, please help me believe you want me to take my wind blades, my parachute, everything, my motorcycle, you want me to take it all to the desert, to Chinati? And he walks you in that art gallery. Imagine if you were me. And then you saw Chief Watchman and you knew you were a watchman. You'd probably freak out. Well, I did. Okay, but I went to Chinati and I did what he said. And because I did what he said, he absolutely proved that what I've been preaching and what I've been teaching about being on the rock is correct. There's a good you and there's a bad you. There's a double you, you know, like five and a half, five V and V, half and half. There's a double you. Okay, here's what being on the rock is, knowing that, that there's a good you and a bad you, a right side up you and an upside down you, and he puts the two together as one, and you're no longer under condemnation. This is condemnation. Two ups are not a combination, it is not condemnation. Jesus said, if your eye becomes single, two ups, your whole body's full of light, because one's light one's dark, like the shirt I'm wearing. Did you know this is not the shirt I wore yesterday? Do you remember the video I told you yesterday? Why would the Lord have me buy two shirts? It doesn't make any sense. But he told me, Jonathan, buy both shirts. This is the one I wore in the video last night. Y'all are going to freak out. This is the one from the video last night. It has a black collar. See the difference? It has a black collar. Underneath the arms, it's got white. This has a checkerboard like a finish line. Please listen to what I'm about to tell you. Last night after I did the video, I posted the video. I walked into my house. I'm out here in a different building. I walked into the, the house while the video was rendering to take a little break. And when I walked in there, I turned on my computer in there. And when I turn on that computer, on the on the on all the thumbnails that came up, all my choices on YouTube, let me show you what popped up. Let me show you. Okay, I want you to read this. I want you to look at the date. September 21st. What's today? Today is September 22nd, right? So it says, Cleck, the end is here. Reflection on Chinati and Kill Devil Hills. Again, look, September 21st. That means you're looking at a video that was loaded up on Dave Shadow's channel. Dave the Wave, who works with me. Let, let me tell you what you're looking at. September 13th, I was in my vehicle with Corey. And I was talking to Kat on the phone. And I was going, guys, this is so crazy. I'm Don't forget, I'm driving with Corey and talking to Kat. And I'm like, this is so crazy. The Lord just keeps showing me the finish line is here. The finish line is here. Okay, guys, look what I'm wearing on my shirt right now. I told you the Lord told me to buy this shirt and the other shirt yesterday. Yes or no? Yes, I did. I documented it in the motorcycle shop. I was like, why is the Lord telling me to buy two shirts one with the finish line. Okay, ready? After I did the video yesterday and it was rendering, I went into the house and, it, and you know, it's late at night. But what had just been loaded up and I got an, a notification in, in YouTube was 
It says, collect the end is here. Reflection on Chinati and Kill Devil Hills. And I'm sitting there going like, what the heck is this video? What is this? On September 13th, I had done a video. You're going to watch it right now. You're going to watch the video. On September 13th, I did a video where I'm on the phone in my car with Corey and Kat on the phone. And I'm just going, this is crazy. He just keeps telling me the finish line is here. And right then, driving down Broadway, I go under the finish line. There's a big 5K finish line on the street. And it says, race for the rescues. Well, you know, we're the rescues, right? Well, but it's a 5K run here in San Antonio, race for the rescues. But as I'm saying, like, guys, it's crazy. Corey's right here with me, Kat. You know, everything the Lord's telling me is that the finish line is here now. And then, boom, I go right under a finish line. I'm like, okay, that's nuts. And then right there in the vehicle, I decide to document all the crazy stuff that was happening. So remember, I told you guys, guys, I've been so overloaded. I just can't even keep up with it. Yes, you've heard me say that. I'm sorry I haven't been around, but I, I'm, I'm just overloaded because it's all these confirmations. Well, I, I documented one right here on September 13th. Did you know Dave had that thing stitched together since September 13th? Yesterday is the 21st. So that means eight days later, Dave recognizes that he forgot to post. He, he put it, he stitched together a bunch of little short videos that I took on my phone in the car. He stitched them together and he forgot to post them and give them to me as part of what we do. And I'm like, oh, wow, I guess Dave forgot to give me, well, Imagine that what you're about to see right now is me with Corey in the car talking to Kat, saying the Lord, saying the finish line is here. And I went right under the finish line. Do you think it's weird that I'm wearing a finish line shirt right now that I documented yesterday that, look, the Lord told me to get this shirt and this shirt. This one doesn't have a finish line on it. I don't know why, but he's telling me to do it. And that guy that was at the cycle shop, ah, Jonathan, when we're going up, I get a little nervous. But as soon as I let go, it's all good. Yeah? You want to see a miracle? Y'all get to see a lot of miracles here, don't you? All glory to God. I'm just blessed. It's ridiculous. Okay, you ready? Here we go. This was shot on September 13th. It wasn't even given back to me. So after the video happened yesterday, this is a miracle. You want to know the ends here? You want to know we've reached the finish line? Watch. Okay, so I'm documenting again. Corey's with me as a witness. And so we've been taught. Say hi, Corey. Hello. Hello. Hey, Corey. So anyway, you know, I've been talking to Corey about the Lord's communicated to me. Just no different than he communicated with me to go to Kill Devil Hills. And he proved it. Uh, the trip out there proves it. Remember 1902 on the Triumph and at the uh, plaque of the Wright brothers. Uh, anyway, that whole testimony was proven out to be 100% accurate. Uh, when the Lord told me to go to Chinati, he proved to me he wanted me to go to Chinati by walking me into an art gallery that had wind blades out in front of it. At the very moment I was praying about, you want me to take wind blades and my whole LZ to the desert? And I was saying, you really want me to take all that to the desert? I've already called every place I could probably get an airplane. I've checked into helicopters. There's nowhere that's gonna fly me over, you know, Big Ben to let me jump. I've already checked. And I heard the Lord say, trust me, just trust me, I'll get you an airplane. And so I was struggling with that and I was driving in my vehicle and I was praying. I was like, Lord, you know, you really want me to take my, my wind blades? Cause it's not easy to take in a whole LZ, you know, with you and, and set it up by yourself. I was like, you want me to go take the, the, the wind blades and you want me to take the, the LZ, the big blue tarp with the red X on it. And you want me to do all that stuff but I can't even find an airplane if I call all these airports and I call all these places that might potentially even rent me their, their aircraft. 
so anyway, I'm sitting there in my car, just like right here, right here where I am. And I'm sitting there going, okay, Lord, for sure. You want me to do that? And I look up and there, right when I said the word wind blades, I'm like, you want me to take the wind blades and everything like wind directionals. And right then I turn this corner and I'm looking at, I'm going to drive down the street and show you what I'm, I was looking at. Okay. So this is a quick interjection. So I'm going to make a point about what I just told you. Right now, the Lord has communicated to me that the end is right in front of us. We are at the door now. The, the time is nigh. And that's all I've been talking about with Corey all day, yes? Yep. Yep. That supernaturally, <laughs> just like the Lord shows me to go to Chinati and the way he does it, the way he showed me to go to Kill Devil Hills, the way he showed me, you know, this is it, when he took me to This Is It Soul Food in Houston, all these supernatural testimonies. He always has a way that he does in this realm, the way he communicates it to me. He just communicated to me right in front of Corey. We're about to finish the race. Yes, yep. sir. Yep. I'm going to show you the way he did that. But I want to I want to show you right now what I was just talking about. I just drove over in between the last, in the last, what you would see as the last minute of your video. During that time, I paused this and I drove over here. So I could show y'all where I was and what happened. Okay, so right here, I was right here on a street called Ritterman Road. And I was praying and I said, Lord, you really want me to go out to Chinati, Texas? And you want me to take my parachute? You want me to take my parachute? You want me to take my entire LZ? I was like, that's just super weird because I've, I've called all these places if I'm gonna, if you want me to skydive in the desert somewhere, but I can't even get a plane, I can't find a, a helicopter, I can't find anything to jump out of. So how am I supposed to skydive in the desert? But the Lord's telling me, no, I want you to go, trust me. So right here is where I was driving, right when I was having that conversation. I just now drove over here during the production of this video. So I'm right here, and this I'm right by this car wash on Ritterman Road. And so I'll just look right, right here. I'll just turn the thing around right there. And I'm talking about my wind blades. And you really want me to take my wind blades. While I'm talking about wind blades, I look up and I'm like, what the heck? There's wind blades right there. That's so weird. So I'm literally turning the corner right here. And I'm saying, so Lord, you really want me to take my wind blades. And you want me to go to Chinati. And I see these wind blades right here, right there. And I hear the Lord say, go in here where the wind blades are when I'm like going here well I pull up and this is this is an art gallery and I'm like you want me to go in there where the wind blades are and that's what the Lord said yes I want you to go in there okay even though they're not open right now I'll edit in I'll have Dave the way put in there in in this video right now what happened when I went walked in there this is before I went to the desert to Chinati which was like a little garden of Eden in the desert it's so he could communicate to me. That's where he gave me the rock that was split in half. That's where he split my LZ in half, exactly in half. That's where my building was split in half and it was made of stones and it was like in a little garden of Eden in the center of the desert with a giant whiptail lizard, which, which is capable of, of parthenogenesis where it can self fertilize male and female. Anyway, so, and this is where I was. And he walked me in here and he told me, go in there. And I was very, I had trepidation. I didn't even know, you know, <laughs> what would happen when I walked in the door. So anyway, so I go in there and I walk in the door and I poke my head in, you know, just like looking around and guy goes, hey, how's it going? I'm so-and-so. This is my gallery. I specialize in artists that do landscapes of West Texas and Big Ben. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. did you just say what? Big Ben, that's where Chinati is. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. Well, there was one painting that was in the dead center of the wall, right when you walk in that door, that was the centerpiece. Uh, every art gallery has a centerpiece. You walk in and the centerpiece big painting was this shepherd leading sheep through the desert. And I walked over to it and I heard the Lord tell me, look at the name of the artist. The artist's name was Melvin Warren. The Lord told me, photograph it. So I turned and I asked the guy, the art gallery owner, do you mind if I photograph it? And he said, no, go ahead, photograph it. And so I photographed the painting. You'll see it in this video. I photographed it. 
and it was a shepherd leading sheep through the desert in the what and the name Melvin means chief and the name Warren means watchman <laughs> and I was like okay you really want me to take my you know my whole LZ to the desert my parachute you want me to skydive into the desert somewhere even though I don't know where I have no idea where I'm gonna skydive into no idea whatsoever just trust me even though I can't find an airplane or a helicopter, nothing to jump out of. Trust me. Well, I went to the desert and everything he said he would do, he did. He got me an airplane. He showed me right where to jump. And it was one of the most supernatural testimonies anybody could ever give you about understanding the Bible and the meaning of the Bible and being on the rock. And being on the rock and understanding exactly what the Lord God had communicated to me through the word of God. So that someone would understand it completely by living it out and manifesting it into this realm, this dimension called the flesh. Corey, do you literally see me manifest the word of God all the time? Every day. It's insane. I'm just telling you guys, even from my perspective, it's insane. Yep. Even from my perspective. I'm like, this is completely bonkers. So anyway, I go to the desert. Sure enough. My building was made out of stones. The guy says, oh, that building was split right in half. We had to pick it up off the ground and set it down on a rock foundation. No big deal since that's what uh, my whole ministry has been, how to put everybody on the rock. Then he walks me down a creek bed, tells me he's going to show me where my LZ is in the middle of a desert in a canyon that if you miss, you die. If you don't make your LZ, you die or you're severely injured. I mean, you are not getting out of this deal without serious injury or death if you don't make it into that canyon you don't make it in that creek bed it's the only soft place to land everything else is a rock a cactus and it's going to hurt you no matter what and i have a high speed canopy that comes in very fast i don't float down i surf in it's a big difference so anyway so i have to surf into this dry creek bed in order to make the lz where the lord put the lz for me Y'all have probably seen in some videos, I pick up these two little black rocks and I go, look, this, this is a miracle. When the Lord walked me down that creek bed, he walked me down there and he told me to look down and I looked down and it's trillions upon trillions upon gazillions of rocks. And he said, pick up those two rocks. There was two black rocks that fit in with all the other rocks. There were other black rocks, but you know, it's, it's 90% white rocks, 10% black rocks, I would say. And the two black rocks he told me to pick up, he told me, pick them up, now put them together. That's insane. That's totally insane. I reached down, I picked up two black rocks, and I go to these, he said, put them together. And I put them together, and they were the same rock, split exactly in half. Y'all know how impossible that is, since that's my ministry, to show you what being on the rock is? Okay, that's just one example. That's just Chinati. I've also gone to Kill Devil Hills. I also did the trip to New York where I ended up at This Is It Soul Food. I've done all these other supernatural testimonies and where the Lord tells me to do something and then he proves he was behind it. Here is the point. The point of this whole video, the Lord has communicated clearly to me. Okay, now get ready. Okay, get ready, guys. The video that you're watching right now was produced September 13th. Somehow it got put off to the side, lost in the shuffle. David already put produced this, and he set it off to the side and forgot about it. It shows up last night after I did the video telling you the end was here. The end has arrived. Just as a double slam dunk confirmation, get ready. I am wearing a finish line on me. It's a, This is a miracle. You saw it from yesterday's video. Now it's pertinent all of a sudden. What are you kidding? Are you, that's insane. I'm just like, ah, do you understand what I'm showing you? I mean, do you understand what you're looking at? This is even a prophetic shirt. The video itself is a prophetic video. It's, it's slam dunk exclamation point from the video I did yesterday to prove that the Lord God's saying exactly what I'm telling you he's saying. He's using a video from September 13th as an exclamation point to say, yes, Jonathan has heard me correctly. The end is at the door. I'm wearing a finish line. 
watch what the point of this video was. Ready? Watch. Freak out. <laughs> Here we go. In front of Corey as a witness, the end is at the door, I repeat. The end is at the door. It's time to let go of everything of this world. You are at the finish line. And while I was telling Corey these words on the phone with Kat on the phone, I literally drove under a big finish line that says rescue f for the 5K or something. 5K for the rescues. <laughs> and and if, because we're being rescued, we're the ones being rescued. But it's apparently for dogs. It's apparently for dogs and cats, but the Lord drove me under a finish line for a five, you know how I always go to, to, to become on under a 5K for rescues. Where are those rescues? And I literally, while I was saying, looks like the Lord's taking us, this is it. It looks like we're there. We drove under a big banner. And then that's when I paused this video. I came over here to show you guys. This is how he got me to Chinati. He walked me in that art gallery right there. He showed me a shepherd leading sheep in the desert. And it said, Melvin Warren. Chief. Melvin means chief. Warren means watchman. He told me, look it up. Look up the meaning of Melvin Warren. Nobody could fake that. That's not, that's not doable. But it happened. That's how I did Chinati. And then all the miracles ensued. The little rock split in half. My LZ split in half. My building split in half. Even on the building, it said 1937. It means since lust and desire, like the garden. So now I'm telling you, this is my testimony before the Lord God. He has communicated to me the same as he communicated Chinati. I want you to go to Chinati. Jonathan, walk in that building. I'll prove it. The same as he communicated to me. I want you to go to Kill Devil Hills. I said, well, it'd be really cool if you let me see the devil get killed. I, I know for sure. Two days later, little Naz slides down a pole and kills the devil in his video Montero, whatever it was. I mean... Everything that happens, happens according to his will, is orchestrated. So I'm telling you, the Lord is telling me, the finish line is at the door. I'm going to show you the little video clips now that he showed me. What do you think the odds are that I'm wearing a shirt with the finish line on it? He told me not to wear this shirt last night, to wear that one. I thought, why? Why does, he want it? Why does it matter which shirt I wear? He told me to wear that one yesterday. He told me to wear this one tonight. I'm wearing the finish line. <laughs> you couldn't even think this up, could you? Y'all want to be encouraged? You want to be encouraged? You want to know Jesus is coming? You, you want to know we're at the finish line? Just watch this video. Watch it a couple times and you'll know. Just go back and watch yesterday's video, then watch this video. Watch yesterday's video, then watch this video, and you'll be going, oh my Lord, the Lord God has communicated, the finish line is here. I'm wearing it. <laughs> I'll show you a, a slideshow at the end of this of the LZs and all the other things I've done. Kill Devil Hills, I'll put together a slideshow so you guys can see all these miracles I'm talking about in a slideshow, just slides. That will be at the end of this video. I'm ringing the bell. The time to go, the time to go is soon. It's time to let go of this world. Let go of everything of the world. Let go of all of it. Any responsibilities you, you feel like, oh, I've got to be here for my kids or I've got to, whatever it is. It's time to let go of it. If you're one of us that's been called, then you know what I mean. You have to let go of the world and say the world's done. It's over. And we've been called to leave. Go watch the movie knowing only those that heard the call. And I, I love you guys in Christ. I'm just being very adamant. Corey gets to see, you know, he, the miracle we saw yesterday is almost not even believable. But I'm not going to go into it. It's just too much, too much more time taken up. Okay, now I'm going to take a deep breath. Huh. Corey. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty intense, bro. Very intense. No doubt about it. Anyway, I'm just trying to let y'all know what I know. God, I'm trying to keep you guys in the loop. This is what's going on in my world, and he never misses in my world. He does not miss. So anyway, I'm telling you, the the door is about to open to leave here. I'm telling you, it's about to open. So I love you in Christ. I'm going to show you some of the evidence now, and you guys just, you know, be prayed up. Okay, I love you in Christ. Bye. Okay, so... 
I know I said goodbye and all that, but I left that other location during the middle of this video where I was telling you guys, look, the Lord told me we're at the door. We're about to cross the finish line. Corey, is that what I was saying? Yep, yep. I was on the phone with Kat and that's what precipitated this whole video. Then, right then I looked up and I was like, are you kidding me? And we were crossing a finish lane of a five K. By the way, K is the 11th number of the alphabet. And in the Bible, uh, 11, the number 11, like 9-11, is Abaddon, place of destruction. 5K, five place of destruction. That's even the cryptic meaning behind a 5K race. I'm not joking. That's why they have 5K race. Because that other race has outlasted the sheep, the serpent race. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you where we were and what was going on. So I was right about here and I was talking to Corey. I said, yeah, this is crazy that the Lord's communicated that we're there. I mean, the time has arrived. It's hard to believe it, but look at all the confirmations he gave me. They're just like Chinati. They're just like Kill Devil Hills. And every time he shows me, he's right. And right when I'm saying that, I look right up here in front of me and it says 5K race for the rescues right there. And I go right under it. Right at that very moment. True or false, Corey? True. Okay, so I'm giving you a testimony. Corey, this is your testimony before God, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this is a no-brainer, guys. He even had me cross a finish line that says race for the rescues and we're the rescues. <laughs> That's insane. But, hey, did you see the rock split in half amongst hundreds of trillions of rocks yes or no am i the guy that showed the whole world what being on the rock was matthew 16 upon this rock i will found my church okay that's it in the story i'm a very cut and dry guy man some people misconstrue <laughs> my my uh yeah my my skill set that in, deals with endurance and getting stuff done is rigidity but i can assure you Someone's got to get it done, man. And so I was the guy the Lord chose to persevere and, and kick this freaking monster right in the, you know what? I'm going to go into it. It's just too much, too much more time. He never misses in my world. He does not. So the video that you're watching right now was made September 13th. Me crossing a finish line. Yesterday you saw a video of me in a motorcycle shop called Cycle Gear and the Lord telling me to buy this shirt and this shirt. He told me to wear this one last night because last night had I wore this one, that the video that you're seeing right now, it, it wouldn't be as pertinent. I wore this shirt last night, so obviously I heard him. Then I went inside last night. And that's on there, a finish line video, a video saying it's time to cross the finish line. No, uh, no, that's impossible. Like times a thousand. What you just saw is impossible times a thousand. I'm wearing a finish line on my shirt. It's a finish line. We're at the finish line. <laughs> All glory to God, I just can't believe it. It's hard to believe. I know it's true though. 805 to make sure to make safe and secure fasten to join together. Everything you're seeing is impossible. <laughs> All right. Um I think what I'll do is I'll I'll tell you what, I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna pray. I don't know if I want to extend this video, um, if there's something he wants me to talk about. The finish line is here, guys. He had me wear it. He had that little short video that Dave stitched together on the 13th, Get Lost, right up until I posted the video last night. And then all of a sudden that video is loaded on YouTube without my knowledge. I didn't even know that video was, I forgot that video existed until last night after I posted last night's video. <laughs> Do you understand? Okay, that's the Lord. All right, that's that's the Lord, and that's, uh, that's the way, uh oh That's the way he does things. He does things like this. 
he does the impossible all the time. And I just got to participate in his miracles. So, and yeah, yeah, anyway, all glory to God. Yeah. So, okay, let me just pause and pray. And then I'll know whether or not I'm doing more video. Maybe I'll just see about calling this one quits. And then I'll just start rendering this one and begin a brand new one. I'm just going to ask him what he wants me to do. The end is here.